hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be teaching you how to make a short knicker or you can use the method to, to cut a long trouser so this is what i'll be working on today let me show you so this is the paper i'll be using this is the scissors i'll be using so these are what i'll be using today for the tutorial so without further ado let us hop into the tutorial So these are the materials i'll be using for today's tutorial this is my scissors my pencil the marker the paper tape and my tape group then including the paper that i'll be using so the first thing i would be measuring is the allowance sewing allowance so the sewing allowance is half inch but this sewing allowance you can also call it your starting point so that's the sewing allowance i'll just dot the half inch then i'll do a straight line so this is the so you can call it like your starting point you can also call it your sewing allowance so this is our sewing allowance which is half an inch so from that half inch i'll come down by eight inches that's from the waist to the hip measurement eight inches so from the waist to the crotch measurement this crotch is where when you sit down from your waist you can measure it from your waist to the top of the seat so that will be 10 inches so from this line down here which is the new length that is 20 inches so you can see i'm just doing dots dots so i'll do a straight line This is the knee length and that is where I want the knicker to stop at. So this is going to be the hip. This is going to be the crotch. Why this is going to be spare that finish. Why this is going to be the knee. So the first thing I'll be measuring is the crotch. This crotch is the widest part. So the widest part that's 26 when i measured it round so so vertically this is the waist to the hip and this is the waist to the crotch but horizontally this is the thigh it is called the thigh so 13 inches is the thigh measurement after measuring the thigh i have 13 inches so i'm measuring it on the crotch so this is where my 13 inches stopped so i'll start from this place this point exactly no sewing allowance so I'll get the middle of this crotch. So this is the middle. So I'll use my pencil to trace out the middle. So I'll just draw out a straight line like that. Okay, so that is a straight line. Okay, so the hip measurement, so I'm starting the hip measurement from here to this place is 44. So this hip measurement is divided by 4. Hip divided by four will give me the answer here this is the waist this waist divided by four why this crotch will be divided by two and this knee will be divided by two that's the thigh as separated but the hip is together is only one so that's why it's divided into four that's why the waist is divided into four and the crotch is divided into two then the knee is divided into two so this hip from here i'll measure the 11 inches so the 11 inches will stop here so that's where the 11 inches will stop 
so i'll just draw a straight line from the waist up down to the crotch from here i'll curve it to this part here So this waist part i'll come down by one inch the reason i came down by this one inch is because i want it flat on the crotch side i don't want it folding like i don't want it bulging so i had to come down by that one inch so that it would be perfect so this is going to be our dart line now so this dart line i'll hold it in by quarter an inch quarter an inch so that will be half inch i'll be holding half inch for the that yeah so i'll come down by five inches for the that so that quarter an inch i'll trace it to this five inches so i'll do the same to this place so that is going to be the that so this that this waist part i'll measure from here to this part for the waist so the weight is divided into four divided by four so the waist is 36 divided by four is nine inches so this is the nine inches so the half inch that i measured here that i removed that i'm going to remove from the that i'm going to add it to this part so i'll add the half inch here so i'll connect this part to this hip here The new measurement when I measured the knee, it was 22 inches. So the 22 inches that's 11 divided into two. Remember, it's divided into two. So 11 inches stopped here. So now I'll be tracing from this place to this place. I'll just trace like a straight line from here to here. So this part is going to be straight like it's going to be straight i'll be using everything there is no we are not going to cut anything out here so this is going to be the front so i'll trace this to meet this place so i'm cutting all this part out remember no need for any sewing allowance here no need to add anything to this front part i'll put it exactly so anything you want to add you're adding to the back measurements so before i finish cutting in in case you are adding zip allowance to the front so you need to add the zip allowance measurements so this is the zip allowance that i want to add now i'm adding one and a half inches one and a half inches to it so i'll come down by seven inches that's from this part so now i'll be extending this so that seven inches is going to be on this hip measurement so i'll just draw a straight line then i'll curve it let me just draw a straight line down let me use my pencil to do that so i'll curve it in from here so i hope you understand that part so now i can now cut it out so i don't need all this part again i won't be needing all this part so i'll be cutting it out from here like this So this is for the front part so in case you are extending it like you want to extend it as trouser then make sure you draw this line straight down to where the trouser is going to be there make sure you measure the round trouser then you're going to just trace it straight down to where the round trouser is so when we get to that tutorial you end up you understand better but for now this is for a sneaker.
so this is just the front part that's it for the front part now i'll be placing it on the back part okay so now what i did is place this paper on this mind you don't forget you are going to be once i place this on the fabric you understand better i'll i cut only one of this i'm supposed to cut two out so whatever you're cutting use two fold it into two and then cut it out but because i'll be placing it on my fabric that's why i cut only one out so now placing it on the back part so this is going to serve as the back so this back part i'll add three inches to this side so these three inches i'll just add it and make it more excess than the front part okay so i had to use this paper tape to hold it down although i can use my pin too to hold it down i can use my office pin so this part because it's not going to be having at the back so no need to use this part so i can just fold it inside so it doesn't distract so don't forget i added three inches to this part although i'll be extending it by two inches like anything i'm adding to the back is two inches i'll be adding two two inches to the back so i'll be using red pen red marker for this so this is two inches so you can see that it's two two inches i add all around so before i trace that out let me first trace out all this so this part i'll come up by two and a half inches because the back because of the our bum bum now the bum bum is big so the clothes must not be opening at the back so you have to extend the back part by two and a half inches why this side i'll extend it by two inches this down part i'll extend it by one inch one inch why this part two inches this part one inch so don't forget i added two two inches to this part too all around so from these two inches two and a half inches that i extended so i'll just draw a straight line to this part to this place so i don't want to draw the straight line like this i don't want to draw it to this part i would rather draw it to this place then extend this as a straight line then maybe understand that but let me draw this part first this is a straight line so so i'll draw this to this place if you understand then from here let me use my pencil for this because i'll still be using my marker to do some correction there so just to explain this part very well let me use my pencil to trace it out so you can see that i'm just doing for the copy of the front part so just for the copy the thing i did was extend this up so it's just for the copy so i'll just extend this one to, to this place then this one too okay let me use my marker for this okay so this place to let me use my pencil so what i added here is two inches two inches two inches one inch two and a half inches then this part i added two inches as the sewing allowance so this part now is going to be the wideness of the back you can see the front part is the exact measurement why the white the back part has all the extension so let me just all these lines that i draw draw it on the back too This is the hip, the crotch, the knee, and the wrist. So before I remove this, I'll first draw the dart line. So I'll just trace out the same dart line. 
so I'll just extend the dart line by five inches just like I did to the front five inches for the dart line so these back parts I'll now add a um, minus half inch from both sides that'll be one inch instead of 0.2 like I did to the back then uh, to the front okay so yeah i'll come in by one inch so the reason i'm coming in by one inch here is because you know the bum bum is bigger than the waist so so that the back can lay on the body that's why i came down by one inch here that i came in i came in by one inch so i'll just curve it So this is that that I removed here. That's the one inch. So I'll just come out by that one inch. So this one that I added here, is it that you come out by one inch here for the dart or you come out by one inch here for the waist? But well, everything I'm going to come out here is by one inch. You know, I deducted one inch from here, one inch from here. So it's going to stay like that. So you have to remove only one part. So I'll just extend it by one inch here. So I'll just draw it from there to the hip parts. So I'll be having something like this. So this is going to be the back part. So that's it. So this one, the, I'll just make it like a straight just blend it make it straight and that is heat for the back part so we have the back here and we have the front here so in case is the back that is going to have the zip allowance just do the same thing that i did here for the back you are going to make it eight inches not seven inches let me quickly do an example of that you are going to extend it by one and a half inches then I'm going to come down by eight by eight inches. So whatever I'm doing here, I'll now curve it. Yeah, I'll just do the same thing that I did here. So in case it's the back zip down to have the zip allowance, we do it like this. But if it is the front, you do it like this. You come up by seven inches. Then you can now cut it out. So you can now cut it out like this. So this one will be the zip allowance. I hope you understand today's tutorial. So that's it for the cutting the that part. Then what I'll do next is trace it out, cut it out. I just cut it out. my own zip allowance i want it to be at the front part so that's why i'll be cutting this part out or well, let me just in case i'll be needing the paper next time so i'll just um, use my paper tape to tape this down so it will look like this i just realized that the parts that i added one inch by the side here i did not show it in the full video so i now had to come back to this part so this is the part that I reduced the one inch. This is the actual part that I penciled as the normal measurement. So I reduced one inch here. So that is the one inch I added to the cloth. So I now took it from that part to where the hip is. So I traced it there. So this is that part that I canceled. So because I came in by one inch here, I had to shift the dart into by one inch. So I also came down by the five inches that I measured before. Then I reduced half half inch by the side half half inch unlike the front that i reduced quarter inch so this is the zip allowance and that's just it for the explanation thank you guys hi guys hope you enjoyed today's video 
please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my videos and please share this video let a lot of people enjoy from it so watch out for my next video where i'll be teaching you the coating of the fabric and the sewing thank you so much enjoy your day guys